Good morning. Today we're going to unbox the Jumper T8SG Plus version. Let's get the lid off. Okay. So we have a manual. It's uh, very thin, but I guess it's good to have one at least. This will this will be helpful later, I guess. And then we have a case. It's a nice case. Pretty solid. It's got a good handle. Um, there's this neck strap. And the transmitter itself. It's quite small. Um, I'm used to my Fisky i6s and it's, um, it's a small one. It's smaller than the Taranis transmitters. But this one is even smaller. It looks um, a little bit like, it reminds me a little bit of Bumblebee. So what do we have? It has uh, a lot of switches. A two position switch here, another two position switch here. A bunch of three position switches. These are supposedly Hall Effect gimbals, so mm, I don't feel any difference actually. Although they are a little bit bouncier um, compared to my Flysky i6s. Trim buttons. These are new to me because my Flysky i6s don't have trim buttons. Oh yeah. It's got, uh, it's got an external antenna. That's a nice. So it has a trainer port and a USB port, so you should be able to use this transmitter directly with your PC for simulators. On the back, there's a handle um, and a module. Uh, this one is just a, an empty box. We can we can use this for. DIY project, I suppose that's why it's called the DIY box. And it, it accommodates modules. So this is already a multi protocol box. So there's probably no need for a module other than maybe the Crossfire um, module from Team Black Sheep. That would be an interesting thing to do. And here is the battery bay. Let's see. It uses four AA batteries, and I suppose you can use a LiPo. 
seems to be a you can use a lipo um, I think this is a your standard balance connector plug Okay, so I put in the analog batteries. Let's turn it on. Um, it has an OLED screen because this is the T8SG Plus version. It comes with Deviation TX. It's an open source firmware for transmitters, which allows you to control basically every quad in the planet. <laughs> Looks good. So I'll try to figure this thing out and then I'll see what I can fly with it.